Hello everybody, this is Joe, welcome back, it is day number three of my little project here, of my trying to draw the portraits of all the presidents of the United States. Number three, of course, brings us to Mr. Thomas Jefferson, third president of the United States. Um, if you've seen the first two, George Washington and John Adams, you know that I wasn't super excited about kind of how they turned out. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to try something a little bit different today, and that is basically just to focus on the face um, of Thomas Jefferson, and you know, I'm, the other two portraits were a little smaller, um, kind of drew them a little smaller, and it's more difficult, obviously, the smaller you get to get all of the details in. So, I'm going to try to just go a little bit bigger, and hopefully that allows me to get a little bit more of the details, and hopefully when I'm done, I will have a spitting image of the third president of the United States on my page, and all will be well. Um, again, if you want to follow along a little bit, see what I'm working from, I'm just going on the lists of the President of the United States off of Wikipedia, if you want to type that in. Um, there's portraits there of all 46 presidents, and that's just what I'm using. Uh, this one that I'm going from today is a portrait painted by uh, Rembrandt Peel of Thomas Jefferson. It's a very famous portrait. I'm sure you've seen it before. And hopefully if you haven't, you will immediately recognize it when I am finished here with my drawing. So, let's see how it goes. I will talk to you when I'm finished. Thanks. Well, there's Thomas. Um, not perfect, obviously, but I'm I'm more pleased with this than I have been with the previous two. I think definitely going with a little bit bigger uh, 
canvas, if you will. Uh, you know, zooming in a little bit helps you get more of the fine details and the shading. And, and I think that's something I'll probably will continue uh, just to, it's, it, it, it helps to practice it. Um, and, you know, if you can do it bigger, then if you do want to make smaller, then you sort of work off of that. But the bigger it is, the better you are able to put in the fine details and the little things. Um, things I'm pleased with on it is I'm pleased with the eyes. I think the eyes turned out pretty well. Um, things that I could work on, probably the nose is the biggest issue for me just looking at it now. Um, in the picture I was working off of, He's got a beak. He has a very prominent pointy nose and um, I was having difficulty sort of getting mine to look maybe quite as narrow. Mine ends up looking a little bit wider in this particular effort. Uh, sort of the same with the chin. The chin is very prominent um, in the picture and just I was having difficulty getting it to look like it, it stuck out as much more of a those are shading issues, something that I just couldn't quite get right. But I think it's an improvement. Um, I like it better than the other two uh, that we did before this. So progress, I suppose, which is, you know, that's basically all we're going for. This isn't, this takes practice. Um, art, as everything does, takes practice. And so it's something I have to work on and I appreciate everybody on a, coming on the journey with me. So thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.